Hey guys, Alex checking in again with another, uh, well not another vinyl haul video, an, a vinyl haul video showing off my finds uh, of last month and like basically just recently. I've got to say this is probably my favourite haul that I've ever done just because there's so much good stuff in here and it's just crazy to me how I've been able to get so much great stuff but it, let's ignore that and uh, get on with this so the first thing I got my hands on this month is a reissue of Demon Days by the Gorillas. this is not the, uh, the one on coloured vinyl this is the one on standard black vinyl but yeah this is a great album this is probably the best album the Gorillas ever did and, you know, I really like it, so, it's very good, there's a lot of rap verses on this album, which is pretty much what makes it for me. I would have got this sooner, but I needed to decide myself if, if I was going to get it, just because I wasn't sure, and by the time I wanted it, my record was all sold out, and I had to wait about a week uh, before I could get it again, so... I didn't hesitate to get it then, but yeah, so lesson to everyone, if you want something, just buy it, because you don't know how long it's going to be in store. Next up is Tattoo You by the Rolling Stones, 1981. Uh, I'm not a big Rolling Stones fan, but I really like this album. I think Rolling Stones is one of my more preferred bands from that era. Um... Of the big four, because it's um, Zeppelin, Stones, Beatles, and Pink Floyd. Of those four, Led Zeppelin and Rolling Stones are the two I could listen to most often. But yeah, uh, Tattoo You by Rolling Stones. Brilliant, brilliant album. Definitely recommend it to anyone who likes uh, classic rock. This is a great album. And I'm glad that I got that. Alright, next up is Sketches of Spain by Miles Davis. This is from 1960. This is the album either, I think this is the album before, it's either before or after Kind of Blue. I believe it's before. But it's definitely one of his more underrated albums, I feel. This is one that, that kind, it kind of sounds a little bit like a movie soundtrack in a way and that's what I really like about it because I love soundtracks so getting this is just incredible and plus I love the cover and I didn't want to pay 22 pound in HMV for a repress on 180 gram because I don't know there's just something about HMV buying things from HMV that you know just I don't like so I try and avoid it if I can Next up is Sky's The Limit Rhythm Heritage. This is a fantastic funk album from 1978. Uh, from start to finish, there is not a song on here I didn't like. This is definitely a great, great album. De great pickup, and this has been on my wants list for quite some time. So I'm glad I was finally able to pick this up. And this is also an import, because it's got the uh, clip at the top. So that's impressive. Really, really impressed with this. Next up is something else from the 70s, a little bit from the 60s as well, is The Sound of Bread. Uh, this is a best of album, 20 of their best songs. This is in mint condition, and I'm surprised at that by the price that it was. Oh, voice crack, excuse me. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I'm surprised how mint it was by the price of it, because it was really, really cheap, and I was expecting it to be horrible condition, but it's actually mint, which is great. So, yeah, that's a fantastic find, Sound of Red, right there. Uh, next up, in case you didn't know, I'm, I'm a big uh, fan of AE's Soul. And this is In Your Eyes by George Benson, 1983. Another um, mint copy that I paid next to nothing for. So, that's fantastic. And again, not a song on here I didn't like. And another import from back in the 70s from 78 actually the same year is Average White Band and this is Warmer Communications now interesting fact about this band right here 
is the bass player from this band. Owns a pub uh, near, kind of near where I live. I believe it's this guy, the bass player. But yeah, he owns a pub near a, like a bar near where I live. Average white band, amazing band, and brilliant cover as well, guys. Look at that. Next up is a 2015 reissue of Pearl Jam Dissidents. This is a, a live gig they did in 1994, live at the Fox Theatre in Atlanta for their Versus tour. Uh, I got this not because I'm a big Pearl Jam fan, but because I really love the song Alive. Anywhere I've looked, I haven't been able to find the album 10 anywhere, uh, except for on CD. The only thing I don't like is that this album is clean. Uh, but yeah, this is on a very nice, solid grey vinyl. I don't know what it is about coloured vinyl. I just, a lot of it I don't like, but when it's grey, I don't know, there's just something about it. And it really works with the aesthetic of the album, as well, because the album cover's grey, the vinyl's grey. It really works together, and I think that's incredible. Next up. Stevie Wonder, uptight, everything's alright. I believe this is a UK copy. Yeah, this is the UK copy, which is why the cover's different from uh, American copies. But yeah, fantastic album. One I didn't have, so had to pick it up. And Stevie Wonder, a lot of Stevie Wonder's early stuff is his better stuff. Next is an album I've been looking for for quite some time. One that pop doesn't pop up that often. It is Lionel Richie's self-titled album. This is one that... I have been searching for for a long time, from 1982. It uh, doesn't pop up that much, but this one is Min. My favourite Lionel album, even though my favourite song is on his second album, which I don't have, which is a little bit sad, but I will get that eventually. But his second album pops up so frequently that, you know, it can wait. Next up is this reissue. I believe this is 2015. This is a 2015 reissue of Wu-Tang Clan, Enter the Wu-Tang 36 Chambers. This is an album I've been hunting for for a while. I was going to get an original, uh, but then I would have had to wait a bit longer. And while the track listing on this is different from every other pressing of this album out there, the track list is still the same. It's just a different order of the songs. Which I'm, I don't mind as much because you hardly notice it unless you know this album really, really well. This next one's a bit random, but it's Eddie Murphy, Comedian. 1983 is the year on this. It's in such terrible condition though that it's not that great, but he's really real, he's really funny. So I decided I'd pick this up, give it a shot, and it's really good. It's just a shame that the record itself is so dirty, but I can give that a clean pretty easily. Next up is Happy Together by Odyssey. This is a fantastic album. 1982. There's a lot of covers on this. Odyssey did a lot of covers, I'm guessing back then, but still their cover of Inside Out by Diana Ross is an absolute amazing cover. So yeah, I recommend that album if you're into either cover versions or really good funk music because it's just incredible next up is a hip-hop 12 inch single this is big daddy kane's rap summary lean on me produced by molly Wall on the american warner brothers label this is from 1989 the cover's not in great condition which is why i've put it in this uh plastic sleeve but yeah it is a fantastic single it's mint condition which is fantastic and the price it was i was not going to leave it there another stevie wonder album here that i've been searching for for a while it's characters by stevie wonder fantastic fantastic album 87's the year on this so it's it's not the year of his best work but actually this is very very good I like how some of the parts actually, just the feel of this album cover is incredible. There's a picture of Stevie. And you know, any of Stevie Wonder's music is just incredible, but obviously his better stuff is his earlier stuff. But hey, that's uh, my opinion. Another hip hop single, but this one's a bit rarer than the last one. This is My Band by D12. 
It's got an instrumental version, an a cappella version of the song. It's from 2004, so obviously it's going to be a bit rarer because everything was on CD at this point. But yeah, Eminem is my favorite rapper, in case you didn't know. He's my favorite artist, uh, period. So I had to... There was no way I could let this sit in the store. No way. Next album is Rumours by Fleetwood Mac. This is an original, I believe. Not first pressing original, but still original because it hasn't got the Warner Brothers label with the forest kind of pattern on it. 27, great album. I picked this up mainly for the song The Chain, which is on the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 soundtrack. But yeah, it's still an amazing, amazing album. Definitely their best album that they've ever done. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is Let the Music Play by Barry White from 1976. Great album from start to finish. Can't go wrong with a bit of Barry White. And I only had two of his albums, so you know, I obviously had to pick that up. This one you will know about, I opened it live on the channel, well not live, but you got a live reaction from me, so it's fine. Cigarettes After Sex, self-titled, uh, from 2017, great album. Again, this one is on grey vinyl as well, but this one's kind of got that marble rippling effect on it. I think I've shown this off already, but yeah, fantastic album from start to finish. It's not an album you can listen to all the time, but it's just so soothing and if you need some background music, then this is a great album to go to. Next up is this uh, final bit of hip hop that I got this month. It is One Day at a Time by Tupac, but it's Eminem's version. So basically he produced produced it, but he put an extra ver he put a verse by himself on it. And also verses from the Outlaws on it, as well as keeping Tupac's verse in it. This is from the movie Resurrection, so I need to go see that. And this is just a fantastic single from, you know, from 2004, I believe. 2003, excuse me, but yeah, absolutely amazing, amazing pickup. This was actually given to me by my friend, who also collects records. You know, just amazing that he gave this to me. I'm always appreciative of uh, free things, so, you know, I will take that any day. For those of you who know me, uh, y you know ACDC is my favorite uh, band, so I've got a couple more of their stuff. Even though I didn't have all their albums, I picked these up. I got Let There Be Rock from 1977. Great album. It's just a shame these ones need a bit of a clean, but other than that, they play perfectly fine. And then I also got Highway to Hell. Which, in my opinion, is their second best album after Back in Black. But this is their best uh, Bon Scott album. The last one that they actually did with Bon Scott on, vine on uh, vocals. Excuse me. God bless his soul. But Next up, I got this reissue of Master of Puppets by Metallica. This is on red vinyl. And I think this is a 2015 reissue. But yeah, it's just an amazing album. I've been looking for this for a while. While the pressing is not the best, it's pretty cool looking, I guess. I mean, it looks alright when it spins around on the turntable. It's not my... F Red is my favourite colour, but... Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of coloured vinyl full stop, so that's why I don't have a lot of it. There is that. Finally, I wanted to save this till last because other than the ACDC albums, this has to be my favourite pickup this month just because of how hard it is to find. I've only seen two Lionel Richie albums, but I've never seen this on vinyl in person before. And that is Dangerous by Michael Jackson. This is by far my favourite Michael Jackson album. Not because it's harder to come by, but because it's got songs like Heal the World, Black or White, Who Is This, or Who Is It, excuse me, Dangerous. This is from 1991, so it is going to be a little harder to come by. Cause, but this is a double LP, instead of a gatefold like the other one. Uh, but yeah, still, I love this album. Amazing, amazing album, and I'm so glad that I got first dibs on this when it came through the record store that I go to. Alright, so that's it for this haul. 
guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to get even more stuff uh, for next month's vinyl haul. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed watching this. If you did, make sure you give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you immediately know when I upload next. Follow me on Instagram because I'm always, always uploading to that. Showing off either something I've recently bought or something that I'm listening to right now. So, it's pretty crazy and, you know, it's a hard, it's a definitely hard work to kind of pick something to put on my uh, Instagram. But, you know, it's still a lot of fun. So, make sure you follow me on that if you're not already. And with that, Alex Spins Vinyl, checking out. Peace.